Hi everyone, welcome to uh, the weekly Wednesday update for One Stop Apothecary Shop. For those of you joining me on YouTube, I will link to my eBay store below and please feel free to join my Facebook group where you will get uh, exclusive discounts. I have a lot of giveaways um, and of course um, advertisements for what my new in stock videos. So yeah, let's get started. Here we go. Uh, first off, I just want to mention this week, I've chosen Lawn Fawn to be our weekly sale. I believe I have about 34 items in stock right now for Lawn Fawn and those are 15% off. And see my previous post for the code that you can use at checkout on those. And let's get right to it. I haven't done a video here in a couple weeks. <laughs> um, life sometimes gets in the way. So I have quite a few things here today. Um, so let's get started. Uh, so first of all, I put up a few paper packs this week. Um, this one is by Echo Park and is called Fashionista. And it comes with 12 by 12 paper, nice sticker sheet on the back, very girly. Comes with this package of ephemera. And this one is by Julie Nutting and it's called Seeds of Kindness. And this one, I love the colors in this one. And spring is coming. Thank goodness. Not, can't happen too soon here. Um, getting tired of the cold weather. So yeah. Um, so these two are being sold in a lot together. Um, during the last couple weeks, I did come across um, someone selling a bunch of Tim Holtz dies. So I will show you guys a few of those. This one... Uh, was my bigger one. This one is called Matchbox and it's a movers and shapers die. This would make a great favor box. I think it measures two and a half by one and a fourth. For those of you curiosity how big this actually cuts out. Easter will be upon us before we know it. Yay for spring. This one is called Easter Elements and it's got a cute chocolate bunny along with a butterfly. And I got a bunch of these on the edge dies that what I did before this video is I cut them all out to show you samples of how they cut. So this one is called Iron Gate. And these are all found um, under Tim Holtz on the edge. That's the type of die these are. This next one is called Star Cluster. Should be really fun. This would be great for birthday party or 4th of July. Um, you could probably even do Christmas and Christmassy colors with this one. Okay, and then this next one's called Brackets. And this one will give your card edge a really pretty design. You can also use the negative space on the leftover paper to give it a nice edge as well. Let's see, this one's called Ornate. And if you could tell, there are two different designs here. They cut this one and that one. And the last one here is called Steampunk. So those are the new ones that I put up on my Tim Holtz dies, but feel free to check out um, my whole collection. I have tons in my store and I usually pick them up wherever I go. All right, um, I listed another My Hero Arts kit. These again are monthly kits. This one is from 2018. And once they are sold out, they're gone. So this one, I believe, is called Birds. It's got the matching dies. I love this one with the nest. I think the nest is really cool with this one. So yeah, there's that one. After spring comes summer. I know I'm a little bit early for these, but you can tell I'm definitely wanting warmer weather. <laughs> I'm like, please, please come, because it's been really cold here in the Pacific Northwest. So yeah, these I listed under ice cream. This is where you can find these and I listed them in a big lot. So yeah, this one is missing a couple sentiments, but I still thought that you could use a few of those sentiments. So I hated to throw this set. And then this one's cute. A little animal, little lemonade cart. Okay. Um, spring. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna zoom in. Because I can now because paper packs up all right this is uh, Martha Stewart punch Martha Stewart and Stampin up cut like butter they're my favorite punches to use this one is called tulips 
and I actually cut out a border of them. And how cute and pretty is that? So yeah, you'll find this one under Martha Stewart tulips. All right, moving right along. I am an art journaler and I pick up anything I can find that has Tim Holtz because he is great for art journaling. So this stamp here is by Stampers Anonymous, which is Tim Holtz. I think they do like a collaboration. I think they're two different companies, but Tim Holtz designs a lot for them. And then these are by other designers, but I did like a little kid vintage -y type theme. So I thought this one was super cute. I do pick up wood stamps from time to time. They don't sell quite as fast, but, um, but they definitely still still move for me and some some people still prefer the wood this is another company i love to support this one is called stampscapes and if you're into like landscaping or nature themes i highly highly encourage you to check out the stampscapes youtube channel that's how i got into these um the designer i believe he's in california he makes amazing scenery scenes so these two are found under stampscapes autumn brook I believe and these are pretty decent size you can tell by my hand here they're decent size and then I listed a few of these lots but I have a bunch in back stock as well like that's been sitting in the store for a little while and then these are cute little scenes as well and then I even have some sets with like little cows and birds and ducks that you can put in in these scenes they're kind of fun. All right. I listed a bunch more house mouse. Whoops. <laughs> Flying all over the place here. This is a set that I put together. And it's under baby. And I thought it was seriously adorable. Especially the little shoes in the blocks. And those are continuously selling. I have almost... Um, Whole collection. I bought a ton of the house mouse at this an estate sale. I want to say it was cold, so it was probably November. I think it was in November. Um, I bought out the whole collection, so I almost have all those up. Oh, and Penny Black stamps, the animals. I'm still working on getting all those up as well, and they are still selling. This one I thought was too funny to not to share with you guys. I love, <laughs> I love this one. Beware of stamper missing. Have you seen the stamper? I thought that was cool. Great. Um, let's see. And then a couple of kind of like handmade sayings. If you guys wanted to I'll pause on these for a little bit so you can read them. But yeah, I thought these were really cute. This one's funny for any of you guys that like snarky cards. I do try to pick up snarky sayings and stuff. Um, so if you look under... Um, rubber stamps bunny in my store that's usually what i where i put all my uh all my funny sayings that are silly all right so a couple of simon says stamp dies the eliza snowflake and the funky snowflake and these came with images punched or already cut out so i thought that was pretty so you, again with these you can use the actual image or um the negative you get basically two cards for the price of one with those with those snowflake dies. And here's another one. So pretty. Super duper pretty. All right, here's another Christmassy one. And I do Christmas stuff year round because honestly, it's crazy, but I've already started making next year's Christmas cards. I don't like to rush, so I start them and just kind of make them when I feel like it. So this one's by Simon's Stamp. Oh dear, it's a cute little reindeer and a snowflake and a candy cane and the matching dies. I thought that set was cute. Reindeer wishes and snowflake kisses. Okay, listed a bunch of spellbinders dies this week. This one will be great for planners. This one is called tab set one. Um, here's a fancy tags two. This one's called aristocrat. I thought the deer was really cool in that one. And this one I debated on keeping because it's super cute. It's a gumball machine. How fun is that? And if you're interested in the measurements, I do show those in photos in my actual listing. But yeah, feel free to check out my spellbinders. I have a bunch. 
they are great and their price point is usually a bit cheaper than normal other companies this one was too cute not to share this is little anchor designs super coffee with this matching dye that cuts out the little cup there so yeah and you can give them a little face i thought that one was super cute oh and you know what i just found another dye the um smoke little smoke lines for the coffee ah, look at that i just thought it was the one dye all right and the last one up is called these are a bunch of hero arts dyes that i listed in a lot these are under hero arts fancy dyes i believe there's fish a jungle set butterflies and this uh intricate crafty one and this one is in excellent condition and I believe these ones are new and they're background dies so they are definitely a pretty good size all right guys um thanks for watching thank you for your time as always and um remember the lawn fawn sale is going on this week so if you're in need of some fun lawn fawn sets feel free to check out or dies or I think I even have cardstock on so and I hope to see you guys back here next week. Thanks. Have a good night.